Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to all of you in our third video lecture of mathematics before starting today's lecture I will discuss about your main task the first three exercises of unit 2 are included in your main task so you have to do it neat and tidy in your notebook on daily basis right let's start our lecture today our today's topic is properties of real numbers first of all what is a real number a real number is the union of rational and irrational number right okay addition properties of real number closure property with respect to addition this property states that a plus b belongs to r r stands for real number if a b belongs to real number that is the sum of two real number the sum of two real numbers is again a real number number second associative property with respect to addition this property states that a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c if a b c belongs to real numbers the additive identity if a belongs to real number there exists zero belongs to real number such that a plus zero equals to zero plus a equals to a again additive inverse for all a belongs to real number there exists an element a prime there exists an element a prime such that a plus a prime equals to a prime plus a equals to zero a prime is called the additive inverse of a and is denoted by minus a as well thus a plus minus a equals to minus a plus a equals to zero commutative property with respect to addition a plus b equals to b plus a if a b belongs to real numbers now the multiplication properties First property, closure property with respect to multiplication. A dot B dot represent the product or multiplication, right? A dot B belongs to real number if A B belongs to real number. That is the product of two real numbers is again a real number. Associative property with respect to multiplication. A dot B dot C equals to A dot B dot C if A B C belongs to real number. Multiplicative identity there exists a number 1 belongs to R such that A dot 1 equals to 1 dot A equals to A if A belongs to real number. The element 1 is called the multiplicative identity. Right? Now, <clears throat> multiplicative inverse. For each a belongs to real number, a does not equals to zero. There exists a inverse belongs to real number such that a into a inverse equals to a inverse into a equals to one. Commutative property with respect to multiplication. A dot B equals to B dot A for all A B belongs to real number. Distributive property of multiplication over addition. If A B C belongs to real number, then A dot B plus C equals to A B plus A C if A B belongs to R. And B plus C into A or dot A equals to B A plus C A if A B belongs to real number means here the multiplication of a is distributed over the addition of b and c a b plus a c right okay now <clears throat> okay the properties of real number with examples now closure property with respect to multiplication closure property with respect to addition okay a plus b belongs to real number any yani the sum of two real number is again real for example 1 plus 2 equals to 3 1 and 2 itself are real number 
and its sum that is 3 is also a real number. Same is the case with multiplication. The product of two real number is again real number. A dot B, A cross B equals to C means 1 into 2 is equals to 2. 1, 2's are 2. 1 and 2 are itself real numbers and its product that is 2 is also a real number. Right? Now associative property with respect to addition a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 so solving bracket first 1 plus as it is 2 plus 3 5 and 1 plus 5 6 now at right hand side 1 plus 2 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 6 right same is the case with multiplication a into 2 into 3 equals to 1 into 2 into 3. 1 as it is, 2 into 3, 2 3s are 6. Again, 1 6 are 6. Now at right hand side, 1 2s are 2 into 3, 2 3s are 6. Left hand side equals to right hand side. Okay, now the additive identity. The additive identity. We all know very well that additive identity is 0. Whenever we add a number with 0, it gives us the number back. The general form is a plus 0 equals to 0 plus a, which is equal a, which is equal to a again. a is any real number. Let's suppose 5 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 5 equals to 5. If we add 5 with 0 or 0 with 5, in both cases we will get 5 back. Same now multiplicative identity we all know very well that one is the multiplicative identity because one is a number whenever it is multiplied by another real number it gives us the number back for example 1 into 9 or 9 into 1 whenever we multiply 1 by 9 or 9 by 1 we will get the answer same 1 nines are 9 and 9 ones are 9 now the additive inverse the general form is a plus a prime. a prime stands for the negative of the number equals to a prime plus a equals to 0. For example, 3 plus minus 3. Let's suppose a prime equals to minus 3 here, right? So 3 plus minus 3 equals to minus 3 plus 3. Okay, now solving the left hand side first. 3 as it is plus minus minus. 3 minus 3, 0. Now, the right hand side, minus 3 plus 3, 0. Right? Okay. Now, the multiplicative inverse. A into A inverse equals to A inverse into A equals to 1. Right? For example, 3 into 3 inverse equals to 3 inverse into 3 equals to 1. Or, more clear, let's suppose A inverse equals to 3 inverse. And 3 inverse equals to 1 by 3. So 3 into 1 by 3, right? Equals to 1 by 3 into 3. Cancelling 3 and 3 with each other, we are left only with 1 here. Same is the case with left hand side. 3 and 3 cancel and we are left only with 1 again, right? So, now the commutative property. Commutative property states that A plus B equals to B plus A. For example, 3 plus a equals to 1, 3 plus 1 equals to 1 plus 3, 3 plus 1 equals to 1 plus 3, 3 plus 1, 4 or 1 plus 3 gives us 4. The answer is same. Now commutative property with respect to multiplication, right? a into b equals to b into a, 1 into 3 equals to 3 or 3 equals to 1 again equals to 3, right? Okay, now properties of equality of real numbers. The first one is reflexive property. This property states that A equals to A if A belongs to real number. For example, 3 equals to 3, which is true. Then symmetric property states that A equals to B. Then this implies that B equals to A for all A, B belongs to real number. For example, 2 equals to X. 
or x equals to 2. Then the transitive property states that for all a, b, c belongs to real number, if a equals to b and b equals to c, then this implies that a equals to c. For example, 1 equals to 2 and 2 equals to 3. Then this implies that 1 is also equals to 3, right? Now, additive property, if a equals to b, then this implies that a plus c is equal to b plus c if a, b, c belongs to real number. Multiplication property, if a equals to b, then this implies that a, c equals to b, c. Cancellation property with respect to addition states that a plus c equals to b plus c, then this implies that a equals to b. Cancellation property with respect to multiplication if a c equals to b c then this implies that a equals to b if a b c belongs to real number okay the additive property additive property if a equals to b then this implies that a plus c equals to b plus c right for example x plus 3 equals to 9 right then add minus 3 to both sides x plus 3 minus 3 equals to 9 minus 3 then this states that x equals to 6 right okay now properties of inequality of real numbers the first one is trichotomy property if a b belongs to real number exactly one of the following condition is true this property has three condition which states that a is less than b or a equals to b or a is greater than b. For example, x is less than 2, x is greater than, x is equals to 2 or x is greater than 2. In thrice of them, only one condition is true. Right? Okay, now, transitive property. If a, b belongs to real number, then a is greater than b and b is greater than c. Then this implies that a is greater than c. If 5 is greater than 3 and 3 is greater than 7, then this implies 3 is greater than 2. Then this implies that 5 is greater than 2. Right? Okay. Now... Additive property, if a, b belongs to real numbers, <clears throat> if a is less than b, then this implies that a plus c is less than b plus c. If 2 is less than 3, then this implies that 2 plus 1 is less than 3 plus 1. That is, 3 is less than 4. Look at here, 2 is less than 3. Then, 2 plus 1 will also be less than 3 plus 1 because 2 plus 1 gives us 3 which is less than 3 plus 1 that is 4 right okay now multiple uh, additive property if a is less than b then a plus c is also less than b plus c if a is less than okay then if a is greater than b if a is greater than b then this implies that a plus c is greater than b plus C. For example, if 2 is greater than 3, if 2 is greater than 3, then this implies that 2 plus 1 is greater than 3 plus 1, 3 is greater than 4. This is the properties um, property of inequality of additive property, right? Okay, now multiplicative property. For C greater than 0, if A less than B, then AC is less than BC. For C greater than 0, for example, 2 is less than 4. 2 is less than 4, <clears throat> then 2 multiply 5 is less than 4 multiply 5, which is obvious. 2 5s are 10, which is less than 4 5s are 20, right? Okay. If A is less than 0, then this implies that AC is greater than BC. Now come to now come to exercise 2.2. The very first question. Name the properties used in the following equations. 
okay the first one is 1 plus 4 plus 3 equals to 1 plus 4 plus 3 here associative property with respect to addition is used the second one is 5 into a plus b 5 into a plus b equals to 5a plus 5b here multiplication is distributed over addition so distributive property of multiplication over addition the third one a plus 0 equals to 0 plus a which is equals to a again that is the additive identity 5 into 1 by 5 equals to 1 by 5 into 5 equals to 1 this is multiplicative inverse write the missing numbers 2 plus dash plus 4 equals to 2 plus 6 plus 4. So obviously 2 plus 6 plus 4. Now 7 plus 4 plus 2 equals to 13 or 7 plus 4 plus 2 equals to 13 back. Right? 9 multiply 3 multiply 4 equals to 108. So 9 multiply 3 multiply 4 equals to dash. That is 108 obviously 5 into 8 into 9 equals to 5 into dash into 9 obviously 5 into 8 into 9 choose the correct option 8 into 6 into 7 is equals to option d 8 into 6 into 7 right associative property of multiplication which one of the following illustrate the associative law of addition that is option b 3 plus 2 plus 4 equals to 3 plus 2 plus 4. Third one is, which one of the following illustrates the associative law of multiplication? That is option C. 4 into 3 into 6 equals to 4 into 3 into 6. Okay, students, these three questions will remain in book. And you have to do question number 4 in your notebook. I will solve only one part of, or one part from question number 4 for you right okay the first one part is okay, see question number four do this without using distributive property without using property you just have to solve it do as directed right 39 into 63 plus 39 into 37 39 into 63 plus 39 into 30 7 right first of all the product of 39 and 63 gives us 2457 plus 9 as it is likewise the product of 39 and 37 gives us 1443 and now we will add it which is equals to 3900 right which is our final answer thank you